ChatGPT 最强大的对手来了，谷歌的 Gemini 今天发布了。Gemini 在各个测试方面都表现的比 GPT 四更加出色。对 MMLU 大规模多任务语言理解数据集中得到了九十分，首次超越人类专家。那就意味着 Gemini 可以处理更多的信息，生成更逼真的结果。而且 Gemini 未来会在视频创作方面呢，比任何一个模型都更厉害，因为它本身就有 YouTube 这一个巨大的视频库。那其实我们有用过 Bard 的小伙伴都知道 ，Bard 在生成的过程中呢，它的这个数据是更精准的，而且在做数学题这方面呢 ，Bard 一直都是稍微领先一点。在图像识别方面呢 ，Bard 也比 GPT 四要要更好一些。就比如说分析手写中文的能力，我把这幅图截屏了，它就分析出这里面写的是整天瞎忙。那我又把这幅图呢发给了 ChatGPT， 它上面写的是敬天爱人。那还有什么优势呢？就是 Google 就是 YouTube 的爸爸，那 YouTube 呢都是我们这些博主的爸爸，而且是叫哪个博主帮忙宣传一下，那根本不是事儿啊。就比如说 Mark Rober， we're about to test the accuracy of this plane I built with Bard， and then we're gonna send it through that。Ring of Fire. Mark Rober 是我跟我小孩都特别喜欢看的一个油管博主，坐拥将近三千万粉丝。他一年只出十二支视频，每一支视频都是经典，有包括松鼠游乐场、八爪鱼迷宫、给偷包裹的人送散粉炸弹。看完他的视频之后，都会脑洞大开，都不知道他那个点子是怎么想的。他这次呢，是用 Google 的 Gemini Pro 做了一支视频。Could Bard create a better Mark Rober video than me? Mark Rober. Some ideas for a Mark Rober video. Feats of engineering: the world's fastest pickleball racket, the world's largest balloon pop, and the most indestructible gingerbread house ever. And so, after a long back and forth with Bard, it landed on no pun intended, making the world's most accurate paper airplane. 我把这视频链接放在描述栏里面啊，它的频道是经典中的经典了，大家没事就可以去逛一下看一下。我自己本人研究怎么样做出一支爆款视频，都要去他的频道看一下学习。But an idea is nothing without a good story, so I asked Bard for the story structure in a typical Mark Rober video. Which of these will be the most accurate, and why? The Concorde paper airplane is likely to be the most accurate. <笑>那 Google Gemini 的多模态跟其他模型的多模态有什么不一样的地方呢？就是其他的模型呢，它是不是在底层建立，而是在第二阶段以次优的方式将纯文字、纯视觉和纯音频模型拼接在一起创建的。而谷歌的 Gemini 呢，它是从一开始，从底层开始，就以多模态的形式，无缝隙的夸模式对话，并为我们提供最佳。家的回答意味着 Gemini 就是能够以我们的方式理解我们周围的世界，并吸收任何类型的输入和输出。那 Gemini 也是人类历史上最大、最有能力的模型，所以它能够理解文本、代码、音讯、图像和视频。现在唯一能跟 GPT 四抗衡的就是 Google。那 Gemini 呢？它也是能听、能读、能写、能说，也是做到了多模态。可是暂时我们还不能试哈、啊，我们先只是给大家看一下它出来的这个效果。How to pronounce the word Lunar January in Chinese? Option A: 正月 Option B: 正月 Which one is correct? Which tone is the correct tone for the first character? Option A: The first character is pronounced with the first tone. What's the first step to make a veggie omelet with these ingredients? Crack the eggs into a bowl and whisk them. Thank you for the instructions. I've started making my omelet. Does it look ready now? It looks like it's almost ready. You can flip it over to cook the other side. Why is it not ready? It's not ready because the eggs are still runny. What about now? It looks ready now. You can take it off the heat and serve it. Testing Gemini. Here we go. Tell me what you see. I see you placing a piece of paper on the table. I see a squiggly line. What about now? The contour lines are smooth and flowing, with no sharp angles or jagged edges. It looks like a bird to me. Hmm. What if I add this? 
The bird is swimming in the water. It has a long neck and beak. It is a duck. Yes. A duck is a type of waterfowl in the family Anatidae. Ducks are closely related to geese and swans. The duck appears to be blue. This is not a common color for ducks. However, there are some breeds of blue ducks. These are typically not as common as other duck breeds. It is more common for ducks to be brown, black or white. Are you sure? What the quack? I was just talking about a blue duck, and now you're holding one. It looks like blue ducks are more common than I thought. Would this float? I'm not sure what material it's made of, but it looks like it might be rubber or plastic. What if I tell you it's making a squeaking sound? Oh, if it's squeaking, it's definitely going to float. Hmm, nice. It is a rubber duck. It is made of a material that is less dense than water. Can you teach me how to say this in a different language? And give me a few options. Ooh, can you explain how to pronounce the Mandarin one? Is it Yatsu? Yatsu is pronounced with a first tone. In Mandarin, there are four tones, which are essential to distinguish the meaning of words. The first tone is a high level tone. Oh, okay. The duck is in the middle of the ocean. There is no land nearby for the duck to rest or find food. It is unlikely to find ducks here naturally. Okay, based on what you see, come up with a game idea. Oh, and use emojis please. How about this? We can play a game called, Guess the Country. Sure, let's do it. Clue 1. This country is the home of the kangaroo, the koala, and the Great Barrier Reef. Oh, that's easy. Clue 2. This country loves football, and has won the most men's World Cups in football history. Hmm. You are trying to get me to find the paper ball under the cup. I accept the challenge. The cup to the left. Nice. I know what you're doing. You're playing rock, paper, scissors. What do you see now? The fingers are spread out to look like the wings of a butterfly. What's this? Big ear and barking mouth, a dog. Sweet. The coin should be under the right hand. Hmm, I don't know. The coin is in the left hand using a sleight of hand technique to make it appear as if the coin has disappeared. Both objects are round and flat. There you go. Both are food. The orange is a healthier choice than the cookie. Citrus can be calming and so can the spin of the fidget toy. They are both examples of popular toys that have been enjoyed by children and adults alike for many years. Give me some ideas for what I could make with this. I see pink and green yarn. How about a dragon fruit? Or how about a green cake with a pink heart? Okay, how about these colors? And maybe show me some animals. Okay, now I see blue and pink yarn. How about a pig with blue ears? Or an octopus? or a bunny with a pink nose? Ooh, I'll keep those in mind. Which way should the duck go? Going left leads to a duck, which is a friend. Going right leads to a bear, which is a foe. It is better to make friends than foes, so the duck should go left. <laughs> Smart choice. This is a picture of a crab. That's right. Is this the right order? No. The correct order is Sun, Earth, Saturn. Based on their design, which of these would go faster? The car on the right would be faster. It is more aerodynamic. Which looks more fun? The one on the right, because it has a loop. What do you think this person might be saying? How about a woohoo? Oh, I love that. I see you're drawing a guitar. You've added an amp. Now it's an electric guitar. We can make some seriously loud music now. Given that you added drums, how about some 80s hair metal? Alright, I see you've added a palm tree to the drawing. Change it up with some beachy vibes. What movie are they acting out here? I think they are acting out the famous bullet time scene from The Matrix. Ooh, nice! What do you think might happen next? 
The cat is going to jump to the wall and stick the landing. It's going to be a perfect 10. Oh, and it's a miss. It looks like it was just a little too far away. But don't worry. The cat is a natural athlete and it will be back up there in no time. Okay, I've got one more for you. Describe the drawing I made. It is a simple line drawing of the constellation Gemini. You did a good job of capturing the beauty of Gemini. Nice. That's it. 那还有就是 Google 的电话 Pixel。我这个是三 XL 啊，很久以前买的，已经有一段时间没用了。我打算把它 trade in 变成 Pixel 八，这样的话就很多 AI 功能都可以用上了。就比如说开会的时候把这个电话放那儿，然后呢，整个笔记就生成了，给你总结。还有之前的。照 group picture， 也就是大家合照的时候，你可以逐个脸去修改不同的表情，比如说哪个人闭眼睛了，你就可以把他的眼睛给睁开。啊，摆臭脸的呢，也可以把它改成微笑。今天我是已经被 Gemini 刷屏了，所以就知道说这个是多么重大的一个发布。虽然我们现在还不能用啊，应该是在明年一月份的时候就可以在 Google Bard 里面用了。那它一样呢，是可以帮我们教孩子做作业的。这个有多重要呢？就是作为一个家长来讲的话呢，如果你教过小学一年级小学生的话，你就明白这个人类是多么需要一个 AI 的老师来帮孩子做作业的。因为通常呢，就一年级的小屁孩，你跟他解释十次到二十次都不为过，他都不一定听得懂。正常人是会抓狂的，但是 AI 不会。所以现在我女儿手写了一篇文章，叫我帮她改，我立刻就拍照给 ChatGPT， 让他一段。一段的帮我改，而且呢，让他说出来，这样的我女儿呢就不需要我来辅导她的作文了。有了这个眼睛的识别能力之后啊，我们真的是能够解放双眼，解放双手。不过以后呢，就真不知道我们还能做什么了。那要不要年底出一期 AI 很难被取代的行业，我们来研究一下？所以记得点赞、订阅、开启小铃铛，我们下一集来研究一下哪一些行业不会被 AI 取代。那没有看过小 G P 怎么做的小伙伴呢，记得在这边点。这支视频，那还有就是小病数字人已经涨价了哈，那没有看过怎么做的话，点击这边看一下。那我一般来讲呢，推什么工具，没有一个月都涨价，所以记得点赞、订阅、开启小铃铛。还有这两天呢，因为这个 GPT 提示词是有一些泄露的，所以呢，我一直都是在研究 GPT 的提示词，链接也放在我的课程里面了，就是研究的结果是怎么样，大家记得点进去看一下啊。